Hello and welcome back to our UE5 modeling mode tutorial series. In the first episode, we covered how to create basic shapes using the modeling mode tools. In this episode, we're going to look at how to edit these shapes by manipulating their vertices, edges, and faces all directly inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let's take a look. So to continue with where we left off with our modeling mode uh, tutorial, you go into here and we look at poly model. So let's take a model, for example, of this box and hit accept. So in poly model, we have a few options here, poly edit. And the poly edit has a load of different tools up here too. So it's sub tools. So in here, you can do things like extrusions. So if I click on a face in here, set the face and then click extrude. I can then drag out how far I want this to go and just click to accept it. Do it again here, extrude, whatever I want. Maybe I want to do a uh, a building of some kind. Okay, so let's take this here and we're going to just scale this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go to poly edit and I'm going to click on this top face here and I'm going to go to offset. This allows me to do this sort of shape here. It offsets out and in. And we're going to go in a little bit like so. And then I'm going to drag that up like that. You can scale that as well. So all these handles around the sides, by the way, you can scale and shift them about however you want. Okay, then we've got inset, which is like offset. But you click on this one and you can now, it may be hard to see, but you can see the mesh changing based on this in hang on let's do it on the different side let's do it on top here it's in light inset okay so if i drag this out and in i can control this sort of shape in the middle when i do that you can see i do various different things on it such as it's kind of confusing hang on let me just try and redo it again oh inset those edges there there we go so click on near the edges and then it'll create the inset then you can just do whatever you want so it does your offset but without the extrusion okay right so that's inset we've got outside bevel outset sorry bevel bevel quite useful as well um best used for like edges and things like that but you can do it for faces bevel like this and you'll see it come in of a bevel there um however works best when it's a edge so if you select an edge here and do bevel you get a nice rounded edge on there and you control that bevel there okay uh we then also got things like um uh cut faces for example going to cut faces and we can click on this face here cut face and I can say draw a cut from there to there and it'll cut from edge to edge okay, you can't do like just a hole in the middle it has to go from edge to edge so do bear that in mind so if I want to make a hole in here I go cut faces again go from this edge to this edge another cut faces this edge to this edge and finally this one to this one and then accept and then oh sorry one uh, poly edit and now i've got this hole here that i can delete if i wanted to and there's a hole okay um or i can extrude that in and make a little divot like that whatever it may be so alongside that we've also got various other things as well we can insert the shape by uh, change uh, the shape so by inserting edge loops and edges and things like that so let's say i want to do insert edge loop uh, it would be better if it wasn't such a weird shape. Hold on, let me undo some of my changes here. Okay, so if we're going to do an edge loop, click on there, and then you click on where you want to insert the edge loop. Now, this comes in pretty handy later on, so we'll just put this one here for now, and you can see how you can cut it into edges here very nicely. Um, and hit done when we get up top there. You can also insert edges themselves, so you can click and oh, click and then click. 
and insert an edge but be aware you are going to create yourself um um end gons where you're going to have polygons with like more than four sides which can cause some issues later on but I'm not worried about that for now okay so you've got loads of little things you can do to edit shapes and create your own different shapes out of this too um, alongside that we also have poly deformations so you can click on deform mesh and here I can select edges faces and so forth for our thing so I'm going to select edge like so and vertices are a little bit harder to detect I often accidentally get the um, edges but there you go so the way you deform it is you can just click and drag on that part you want to deform so this is deforming this corner here um, so I'll bring that in, click and drag that, oh, see so you can get the edge now. So one way to make that a bit easier by the way is if you turn off the select faces, edges and vertices here accordingly. So if I want to just make sure I get the vertices, I can just turn off the other two. And therefore there won't be any mistakes, I'm not going to get any weird additions there. Okay. And when you're done, you can hit accept, and there you go, you've got one deformed mesh. And again, collisions are going to work themselves out for you. So, really quite cool. Um, but yeah, pretty simple poly deformations, just that's what it says on the tin. You can click on drag faces, edges, and corners, vertices, uh, quite freely. Okay, so do check that out. Uh, the next one we've got is cube uh, grid. This one I never find useful, but basically, um, hang on, let me just reset this uh, to five. So here you'll see a grid on the floor of the world, okay? You click on a single block, or you can do multiple if you want, um, but you do the first one, and you hit pull or push. So pull, we're going to pull it out and make a shape. I click on this side, I'm going to pull that out, on this side, pull that out. Pull, pull. Oh, you want to push. So I'll go to this side, and then if I want to make a gap here, put pull. Oh, sorry, push, and then uh, push again, and then pull. There we go. We've got a little weird gap shape type thing. Um, yeah, lots of weird, wonderful things you can do there. So you can slide back, slide forward, where you can. It's similar to push pull, but it doesn't actually leave anything behind. It's just changing the selection. So the next one we've got is Mesh Bool. Um, so if I go over to my room I made in the last episode and let's create a shape for my doorway. I'm just going to bring that in here. Okay, so we've got a shape ready to go to my doorway. Um, I'm going to select the room first. And then I'll select the block I want to cut away together with shift and I click on mesh ball. And it's going to use the second option I've chosen as a boolean to cut away my shape. I'm done, hit accept. And there we go, we've now got a hole in our geometry. Again, you can start really seeing how powerful this is for like prototyping and testing things out, as well as doing some minor adjustments to existing assets. Uh, pretty damn cool. Now, other things we can do are cuts. So a cut will is similar to a mesh ball, except that it doesn't get rid of the cutting piece. So if I add this block here, and we bring that in here like so, and I select the room, then the block, and I do mesh cut. You can see this happen here. I click accept. When I do, you see the block is still there. But if I drag this away. I can select this piece on its own and move that on its own as well. They can make perfect fit puzzle pieces if you wanted to uh, using this sort of method. Okay. Uh, next, we've got subdivide. Uh, so subdivide, we're going to bring in a box here and make it a bit bigger. Okay, so to subdivide this, if I click subdivide, what you're going to see is it turns into this sort of weird rounded shape. Now, subdivide basically is going to just tell it to subdivide it into loads of piece, uh, loads of different edges and, and faces, and you get this um, effect where it makes it sort of look rounded, which is good for making things look smooth. However, as you can see, you lose a lot of definition. 
Now one way around that is you can add in edge loops to fix this. So before you do subdivisions, cancel this, we're going to go into the create mode and go to poly edit and not poly, not create mode, um, poly model mode and poly edit here and we're going to go to insert edge loop and you put them near the edges here so I'll put one there and one there and we call these holding edges so now if I accept that and then go subdivide you can kind of see how it's rounded still but it's kept that sort of edge there okay again cancel if we add more in there we can see that effect insert edge loop I'm going to go and add them to all the edges like this The closer you get to it, obviously, the sharper the image, the corners will be. Now, all of them. Looks like all of them. Okay, hit accept. And then hit subdivide. Now hit accept again. And you can see, uh, oh, maybe not so well. Uh, we've now got rounded corners on here. Ignore the UVs for this at the moment. You can see we've got rounded corners uh, a little bit there. Okay. So it's kept that sort of weird definition in there. Um, undo that, go to poly edit again, insert another edge loop, put that in the middle, and then go into oh, edit the edge there. And see if I just drag this bit. So, accept, then subdivide that. You can kind of see it a bit more clearly. Okay, so lots of interesting things you can do with the subdivide and insert it loops and things like that. Um, and that's it. And so we're going to do some more stuff in the next episode, and uh, I'll see you in that one. Cheers. And there we have it. We can now edit our shapes to create custom shapes with just a few clicks of a button. This is a great tool for making previous shots, storyboards, and level designs in prototypes. In the next episode, we'll be going through how to use the deform tools to change the shape and manipulate it in more expressive ways. So you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where all my content is available to all my patrons from just, just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. And if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.